Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. This morning I'm looking at a book which comes to us from the Child Poverty Action Group and it's on energy. It's a specific book. It's been around a long time now and I've reviewed it before. This new edition is no exception. It's the 19th edition of the Fuel Rights Handbook. It's been written, obviously by members of CPAG, but specifically by these people, Alan Murdy, Asma Mahudin, Barbara Donegan and Energy Action Scotland. Now, Elizabeth was the lead writer on this particular review. Um, as I say, I've done quite a few in the past and you can see them on the various websites and so forth. But our title for this review is For Advisors on Fuel Poverty as well as Consumers, this definitive CPAG text is reassuringly easy to use. And that's exactly what it's about. Let's have a look at the book first of all. It's a paperback. It's a standard one. It's only a small one. There's the spine. And then there's the back. You probably can't see very much on the back. It's a cheap book. It's not expensive and it's very helpful. There's some blurb about CPAG publications, what CPAG does. Then you've got an index at the back. Very useful index at the back by page numbering. Then at the front, you can see the shaded areas, the chapter numbers, just so you know what the shaded areas. The front, there's the front of the book itself, Fuel Rights Handbook. Then it's a blurb about CPAG and also about the authors. You can see who they are. They come to us from a very substantial background. Um, then there's some acknowledgements um, about the book itself and the contents section. And it's always useful to read this to get an idea of uh, what the book contains. There are in fact a total of 14 chapters. See the contents section there running over the page. Then you've got appendices at the back. There's a lot of detail, a lot of useful information. There's an abbreviations um, page there. Then you've got the actual chapters. A short little index, if you like, to the chapter, each chapter. and Sources for your um, rights. Uh, basically the structure of interest. It's really telling you how to use the book as well. Um, right, uh, in fact, towards the end of the chapter on how to use this book, uh, because it, and then you've got, you see how the structure is, you've got some footnoting at the back of the end of the, that particular chapter, just to give you any particular additional information should you need it. Then you go on to choosing a supply and so forth, uh, running all the way through. It's an excellent book and very much in, in the house style of the Child Poverty Action Group, which is a superb organisation at does a great deal of, of, of substantial work, fast, you know, fantastic work in trying to help people in basically the social welfare law area. Um, it's social law, it's, it's a whole range of different areas, but this one is particularly useful, especially for certain, certain people. And again, it is for the, the lower income uh, grouping. But I think more than that, it gives you a lot of sensible uh, advice. So what do we say? It's a brilliant handbook from CPAG um, and indeed a doughty warrior in print in the fight against fuel poverty, which is one of the direst of these social ills in our view, especially in view of the consequences it wreaks on the vulnerable, especially children. And true, of course, to the tradition of CPAG, the book presents its carefully researched and authoritative advice in a clear, accessible manner. Accessible, that is, to almost any reader. And that's really the, the, the beauty of their publications. They are not that difficult uh, to understand and they're very useful for readers. That's the lay reader and advisors, people who are advising in, in the various organisations. And you don't need to be a lawyer to learn from it. Now, it's in its new 19th edition and the handbook's been called The Definitive Guide to Fuel Rights and the Standard Practical Guide and so on. Well, that's what it is. Updated every year, each successive edition uh, including this one, uh, gives us the latest information on consumer rights pertaining to electricity and gas. And of course, there are other organisations like WITCH and so forth, but CPAG is, is specifically aimed, its mission is specifically to address those issues which are very, very pertinent, as I said, to people on lower incomes. Now, lawyers in particular, we think, will appreciate the succinct and very handy summary of the legislative sources of such right in respect of gas and electricity supplies from primary legislation and statutory instruments through to the codes of practice and also the regulations and directives 
issued by the European Union. Now, while we're still in the throes of Brexit, you shouldn't forget that the hordes of consumers in the south of the country rely for their electricity on a French supplier. And obviously we still don't know, as I record this in the spring of 2019, we do not know what's happening with Brexit. At the moment when I record this, the uh, Brexit date is Halloween, so we don't really know what is going to happen. Now, let me move from that because it's not directly relevant really, although there could be some, some fairly substantial changes in the future, we don't know. Let me say though that the expert authors of this handbook are careful to state that the handbook's main purpose is to tackle fuel poverty, which fundamentally is the inability to afford adequate warmth for your home, adding that the handbook does not aim to cover policy issues or examine background information in detail. The emphasis instead, the emphasis instead is placed on practicality the actual problems of fuel poverty, as well as the consumer rights. Now, I think that's an important point to bear in mind because, frankly, a lot of people are really scared. And that's one of the reasons why a book like this, hopefully in citizens' advice or in the library or wherever, will be of some help if you've got a problem. Fortunately, the handbook is easy to use, as I've shown earlier. There's a detailed table of contents at the front and there's a good index at the back by page numbering to facilitate looking things up plus, of course, references to uh, correct sources of information at the end of each chapter. And that's the sort of footnoting bit at the back, which will certainly confer authority on any action taken in respect of fuel poverty issues. Plus, of course, not, there is much supplementary material in the appendices, and it's been fully updated as a 19th edition. It's not done specifically as an annual, but uh, obviously it comes out uh, on a regular basis to update uh, the reader. Let me conclude by saying this. This is a book for everyone, from lawyers to lay advisors and consumers themselves, who are concerned in any way with the problems of fuel poverty and the ways by which such difficulties might be resolved. Indeed, anyone looking for solutions to many of the problems of fuel poverty should certainly acquire this book in our view. And the publication date of the book is cited as at uh, 20, early 2019. Let's have a look at uh, the book again. There it is. There's the spine and then there's the back. Now, just opening it in the middle, chapter eight, disconnection for arrears. This is a worry for a lot of people. This gives you a lot of information about how the system works. There's a safety net, various other things. You see the structure of the um, this chapter, chapter eight. Now, if I run it through, they've got various points about how you can deal with the matter and complaints about disconnection and so forth. Then you've got all of the detail at the back. As I said, it's relatively easy to navigate and this is the sort of book which I think will be of great help to people who are frightened and worried about what may happen because there could be issues which need to be resolved. A big thank you to everybody anyway for the production of this book and uh, well done to CPAG for continuing to give us such excellent titles. Thank you. Bye-bye.